Hi, Simon from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions here, and today we have a Fronius inverter. If you have a look at the screen of this one, it's coming up uh, spawn between Startup and State 443. Now, according to Fronius, State 443 means DC DC energy failure. And uh, in my experience as a Fronius service partner, the main uh, cause of a State 443 error code on a Fronius IG inverter is a problem on the DCAC board inside the inverter. So it is a physical problem inside the inverter, which is so it's an internal fault. Now, whenever you have an issue with any inverter, I'd always recommend trying to reboot the system, see if a reboot actually fixes it. And when you do that, it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure. And uh, so what we do here is we turn off the solar supply main switch, which is located in your switchboard, or if you've got one, inverter AC isolator. We've got one of these right here, so we just throw that off. And then you turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter, which you, you've got over here. And what we'll do is just wait for the, uh, the inverter to go completely blank, like it just has, and then we'll try and reboot the system and see if it if it clears a fault at all. Now it's very important the shutdown procedure that you follow it, um, the AC first and the DC. With the startup procedure it doesn't matter as long as they both go back on. So we'll just throw on the AC there and the DC and we'll let that start up. Now if, if after startup you, you find that the state 443 error code keeps on appearing on your Fronius inverter uh, it is going to be something which needs uh, looking at and needs expert uh, help with. Now, if your inverter is still under the warranty period, which the Fronies inverters can stand over a five year warranty, it will is something which will be covered under warranty. And there's a couple of things we'd need to try and uh, put through a claim uh, with Fronies for the uh, State 4443 to be repaired. And that is we need the serial number of the inverter, which can be found underneath the inverter. If we have a look straight up here, we can see the, uh, over there, there we go. We can see the serial number of the device there. And we'll also need uh, the some proof of purchase, like the original tax invoice or certificate of compliance to say when the, from the electrician to say when it was originally installed. And here we're still going through the startup procedure at the moment. And the main cause of the state 443 is, is something which Fronius have actually addressed now. And uh, so a replacement board that we would normally put in would actually usually help avoid having that problem in the future. Can we go in there with a startup? There we go. So this one's still coming up with state 443. So in this case, this one's out of warranty. So uh, it's, it's going to be a... Uh, a replacement job. You, you could you could get it repaired outside of warranty, but it is very expensive. You're still left with an inverter without any warranty. So, in our experience, usually you're a lot better off to just bite the bullet, spend a bit more money, and get a good quality replacement inverter with a full factory warranty again. So, look, if you're on the Gold Coast or Southeast uh, Queensland, Brisbane area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. If you're somewhere else around Australia and you do need a replacement inverter, we can certainly help there as well. Just uh, feel free to get in contact with us and we'd be more than happy to help. So look, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If we can help at all, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. Thank you.